Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making hamburger steak patties. Okay, I'm starting out here in a large bowl. I have roughly two and a half pounds of lean hamburger 80-20 blend. To that I'm going to add two eggs. Alright, I'm also going to add in a half a cup of breadcrumb. I'm just going to eyeball this. That's Italian flavor of breadcrumbs. I'm going to add in a quarter teaspoon of brown pepper. Alright, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of seasoning salt. And I'm just eyeballing all this stuff. Okay. I'm also going to add in one teaspoon of onion powder. There goes my lid. I'm also going to add in a teaspoon of garlic powder. Teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. And once again, I'm just eyeballing all this stuff. Alright, that's about right. Alright, now I'm going to mix all this up. Get it all blended together. Alright, in my large frying pan. I'm going to add roughly two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I have this heating. Let's give this a little stir here, move it around. Get it coated evenly. Great. And my ground beef I'm going to turn into little patties. Fry them up in here. And I went ahead and added about four more tablespoons of uh, breadcrumb to the hamburger mixture. It just was too wet for me. Put a little thumbprint in the middle, a little fingerprint. That'll help keep your burgers from balling up on you while they're frying. All right, I have a large onion here that I sliced up thinly. I'm going to go ahead and add that in with the burger. Separate it all. Now I'm going to fry these for roughly about four minutes on each side so they get brown. And I'll take them out and do that fast. All right, all my steak patties are done frying. I'm going to take my spatula here, and I'm going to scrape the bottom of the pan here to get some of this goodness up, the meat flavor that's burned on the bottom. All right. And I'm going to take two tablespoons of flour, and I'm going to mix that in. I've turned my heat down low. take two tablespoons of cooking sherry and it's here once again I'm going to eyeball this. Okay. Add two cups of beef broth here. I'm going to dump this in. And I'm going to give this a shot of some more seasoning salt. About a tablespoon. Bring this up the temperature a little bit. I'll scrape in the bottom while I do this to get more of that flavor up. Alright, this is starting to come up to a boil. Now I'm going to reduce my heat down to low and simmer this for five minutes so it can thicken up.
All right, I actually let this go for about three minutes. It thickened up faster than I thought it would. Now I'm going to add my steak patties back in here. And once I get these all in here, I'm going to cover this and simmer it for 10 to 15 minutes. That will allow the patties to continue cooking through and it will uh, help get, a, get some of that gravy seasoning in there. Make it more flavorful. All right, these are done simmering. They went for 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and plate these up and see what we got. All right, there you have it. Hamburger steak patties with small ground potatoes and corn on the side. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. Until next time, I'll see you.